now. Free assembly, free speech, America. Hello, coffee. Are you loving life?
Now, before you say that I'm a Trump supporter, I just want to say I'm not a Trump supporter. But these people tackle the Trump subject so awfully that it's not even funny. Honestly, these guys are either feeding the trolls or they are the trolls. So let's go ahead and let's dive in to what we're going to call cancer. Mommy says that if you don't have anything nice to say, then you shouldn't say anything at all. So Donald Trump needs to shut the fuck up. 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 I wonder who owns that kid. I really wonder who owns that kid. This is a good way to start off. We need to start off with a little kid swearing in order to get people to watch this stupid video the whole way. And I mean... Yeah, I am just really ashamed of whatever parent um, had to own that kid. I feel bad for the kid in general because now that little kid is probably being indoctrinated to, you know, to the level of these people's IQ. Yo, listen up! Trump, we're sick of hearing your offensive words that are racist, sexist, homophobic, and bullying bullshit! And bullying bullshit! So sit your ass down. Have me call you out on it. You call breastfeeding moms disgusting? Which is ignorant and rude as shit. It's a natural and loving act of a mother. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. And it's also rude and ignorant to put your little kid in an anti-Trump video. And what kind of fucker attacks refugee families that are homeless and downtrodden? The only reason why Donald Trump wants to get rid of Muslims is to get rid of people like you. I know a lot of nice Muslim people. Muslims aren't bad people in general, but there's a couple that stick out that are really radical that alter everybody's thought on Muslims in general. But when there's people like you that torture the view of Muslims, that is what happens when people become even more racist towards your... or religionist or bigoted towards you, towards your religion because when you act like these people in this video this is what causes bigotry you said you hated days like me getting the equal right to marry my husband who's the love of my life hypocritically calling yourself a marriage traditionalist i don't know why but this guy looks like he has a huge resemblance to the naacp leader that's just pretty hilarious Enough of crowds you've made people's disabilities something you ridicule and mock we're making jokes about disabilities. Do you brag about your money to make up for the small size of your cock? Aw, a female reporter asks you a tough question you can't answer, and poor baby Donald gets mad. Oh, when your butt hurts, the best you can do is some sexist insult about her bleeding and being on the pad. You've insulted women as fat pigs, bimbos, and referred to us as bitches. You pulled a sexy shit with me, and you might need to fuck I'd like to see you lose, Grandma. I've seen your fucking bigoted imitations making fun of how Chinese people speak. Oh, but I guess you have to appeal to idiot racists when your ideas are so fucking weak. Dude, your penis is weak. And seriously, dude, you fucking call Japanese people Japs? Say it to my face, fuck face. I want to see if they're gonna try to bomb Pearl Harbor this time. Come at me, bro. Dang that you only want. Dang that you only want. Dang that you only want. Short little Jews counting your money is anti-Semitic as fuck. What is the greedy juice stereotype a surprise? Coming from a pot who's a bigoted fucking schmuck. What's fucking worse, calling black people thugs? Or are you referring to us as quote lazy? I do not know what these guys mean. I mean, what kind of freaking acid is this girl on? When you tweeted a neo-Nazi fake crime fact about blacks being killers, it shows you're both racist and batshit KKK crazy. Well, you just killed off the respect for the human race. You've made fun of people at your rallies for being overweight. So mean to get a laugh. <laughs> out of your fat fucking mouth that isn't a fat that isn't a fat that isn't a fat saying rapists murderers and drug dealers are fucking synonyms for mexican immigrants goes over well with racist republicans who love when you mirror their idiot ignorance i'd like to mirror your ignorance just to see how other people like it your fucking busted ass ratchet or rat ass cray cray hair oops our bad did we just go there get involved with the hashtag top front movement and get a shirt So 
I don't. It's it's like, so it. It. Yeah, it's empowering to be able to make it. Yeah. <laughs>
Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. Let's say you're renting an apartment and the landlord tells you that he's raising your rent by 50% to help pay for the people who cannot afford to pay rent. Would you pay the rent? Absolutely. Would you leave? Absolutely would under certain circumstances. For example, um, I would, if I was, if, if you know, if I was, uh, if, if I had, you know, if, if, you know, if I was, I would, uh, if, if I had, you know, come on, try getting it out, uh, income great enough where I was paying, you know, living comfortably, paying my rent and saving, yeah, I, I would totally, you know, as a, as a charitable cause, yeah, I would, I would help out, yeah. Why do you think most people of color are voting for Hillary? Um, well, I, I personally don't think most people of color are voting for Hillary. You saw that stat from the NBC Marist poll that Clinton is leading Sanders among support in, uh, among support from uh, African Americans in South Carolina by, look at that, 74% right. to 17%. Oh, uh, would you look at that? Put that Just on. look at that. The fact is that it was the African-American vote in Nevada that really put Hillary Clinton over the top tonight. They broke more than three to one for her. Clinton would you just look out. at it? Yeah, it's sad. It's the only market. I mean, just car. look at it. She has the most support among women and African-American voters. Collecting far more endorsements, including from Eric Garner's mother. Hillary tends to have a, a higher support within minorities in those states. So it's, it's basically coincidental that, that that's happening. Right. You know, I'll go down. <laughs> you still do it. Park. Do you think we should build a wall? Um, uh, my personal opinion is you, no matter how big of a wall you're going to build, there's always going to be a, a way to, you know, penetrate. Um, and especially if there's a big enough need that, you know, I think the wall is not the final solution. Uh, I think what's, what's really going to build a, a, a real, realistically sustainable solution is what Bernie's uh, uh, campaign is trying to uh, accomplish. Bernie Sanders got me out here. I don't vote because I don't believe in the political system at all. I haven't taken part in anything political in this country since John V. Lindsay. In case Hillary wins the nomination, hypothetically, you would vote for Donald Trump? Well, first of all, I don't vote. 